Today we're here at ECU's Innovation Lab uh, testing the very first rendition of an early beta version of our City One game. And what we're doing with this game is showcasing real problems and real solutions that industries within a municipality uh, would encounter. And we're really super pleased that uh, ECU is taking the time to, to pull together this focus group for us and give us some early feedback. ECU's Innovation Lab has biofeedback devices and we're actually hooking up the students and the game players here at our focus group today to these biofeedback devices to get a feel for what are they experiencing as they're playing the game. Is their heart rate going up or, you know, their blood pressure? Uh, because we we're very interested uh, in knowing some detail about what people are experiencing as they're playing this new game. I think the game's good. I like the idea of having to make multiple decisions and strategically deciding one element over the next for short term or long term based off of your budget and all that stuff. I really like the critical thinking that you have to do. There's not one solution to the problem. Picking one solution might bring up other problems that you have to think about critically and beforehand, so you have to be very proactive in your thinking. At ECU, we target uh, cluster industry clusters around um, advanced learning technologies and serious gaming. And so I really wanted to be a part of this today to just kind of participate in a serious game because I had never had that experience before. I think the idea of it being real time would be a, a real big issue. Turn-based, to me, I, some people like turn-based games, but I, I think the idea of real time would be a lot more realistic. You know, having to go and find things and then click may not be the most intuitive way for city managers to get the real feel of, of managing problems and things like that, perhaps making it a bit more realistic to how problems are actually presented to somebody who's in a position of authority to address those issues. As far as the beta version, I thought the graphics were lacking a little bit, but coming as being a graphic designer, uh, I usually look for graphics who are a little more hammered out. Uh, as far as the gaming itself, it was very well put together. There were a few little odd and ends here and there that need to be hammered out, but overall it was very good. I loved it. I think that um, it could be applied over many different industries and many different specialties within industries. When I first heard that ECU was considering a program in serious games, and um, I knew that ECU obviously has an excellent reputation, and I heard about their innovation lab, which they had just created. Um, so it was a fantastic opportunity to be able to tap in to the minds of uh, students and faculty who are interested in serious games. One of the big focuses of my research is looking at education and educational modeling and looking at ways to do innovative approaches to personalized learning, personalized education. And I think one of the big ways that that can be accomplished is through the use of educational games and serious games like this. So I was curious to see what IBM was doing. Well, I think it's, it's great that a, a large company like IBM is taking an interest in this area. Clearly IBM has been one of the leaders in computing technology for a long time and a very respected name, very respected reputation, and for them to take such a serious investment in this area says that this is something that's important to the computing community and I think others will follow suit. 